Hello friends, welcome to Tech Learners. Today I am here with a new video in matrices. Today we will use matrices to solve system of simultaneous linear equations. So let us see what we mean by system of simultaneous linear equations. So any system which is written in this form a1x plus b1 by plus c1z is equal to t1 then the second equation a2x plus b2y plus c2z is d2 a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equal to d3 such type of system which is formed using linear equations is known as a system of simultaneous linear equations so we need to solve this system or these equations and find out the values of x y and z let's see the example here so we can see this is an example where we have three equations this is x plus y plus z is equal to 6 2x minus y plus z is 3 and 3x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to 1 this is called a system of simultaneous linear equations and we need to solve x y and z for this so let us see what are the steps of solving this using matrices so uh, step one we will write the augmented matrix of the given system let us see how we write the augmented matrix we will take the coefficients of all these equations and will frame the augmented matrix for example let's say in this case we will take a1 the next is b1 c1 and last is d1 so we are taking all the coefficients for the second equation e2 b2 c2 and d2 and for the third equation we take a3 b3 c3 and d3 so we will form this augmented matrix so this is the step number one in the step number two we will reduce this augmented matrix into upper triangular form so if you uh, not aware about what is upper triangular form and how to convert this you can watch my video based on upper triangular form from the channel page you can go to the playlist and you can learn uh, although we will do it in this video as well so uh, next step is to reduce this augmented matrix into upper triangular matrix let me write uh, what is the upper triangular matrix somehow we have converted this into let's say a1 dash d1 dash c1 dash d1 dash and this element would be 0 this element would be 0 and this element would be 0 so this form would be the upper triangular matrix of the given matrix so you don't need to worry we will solve it it's very easy to solve it and to convert it into upper triangular form then the step number three rewrite equations using this upper triangular form so once we have converted the augmented matrix into upper triangular form we will rewrite the equations using this upper triangular form so if i use this and rewrite the equation so what will be the equation we will use the first row so from the first row we will have uh, a1 dash x plus b1 dash y plus c1 dash z is equal to d1 dash so this is from the first equation then from the second row we will have b2 dash y plus c2 dash z is equal to d2 dash and from the third equation we will have c3 dash z and d3 dash so we will have these three equations and now the next step in the next step we will solve these three equations using backward substitution and solve z y and x so using the backward substitution means we will start from the third equation and we will solve the value of z this value of z will be replaced into the equation number two and then we will solve the value of y and then these y and z will be replaced in equation number one and then we will solve x this method is called backward substitution so let us apply all these steps onto our example and try to see how we can do it so this is the example we will solving and we will solve this system of linear equation for x, y and z. So let us uh, do the step number one. We will write the augmented matrix for this given system. So from the first equation, uh, we can say that the matrix first row would be 1, 1, 1 and last this is 6. So we have taken all the coefficients, coefficient of x, coefficient of y, coefficient of z and then this is 6 just to form the second row we will take the second equation and we will take all the coefficients 
so this is 2 the second coefficient is minus of 1 next is 1 and the last coefficient this is 3 to form the third row we will use the third equation so this is 3 2 minus 2 and 1 so we will write 3 2 minus 2 and 1 so we have done uh, with the step number 1 that means we have written the augmented matrix now in the next step we need to reduce this augmented matrix to upper triangular matrix now to reduce the upper triangular matrix uh, we need to find out the leading diagonal of this matrix which means where the indices are same uh, row number and column number are same so this is 1 comma 1 this is 2 comma 2 and this is 3 comma 3 so we can see that this is the leading diagonal of the matrix if you want to know about the upper triangular form and how to solve it in detail you can watch the specific uh, video i have already made on the upper triangular matrix so now we need to convert this element into zero then this element into zero and then this element into zero for which we will be performing row elementary operations so again if you want to know row elementary operation i have already created a video and you can go and watch what are the row elementary operations that we can perform on the matrix so here our first task is to reduce this into zero for which we will perform the row elementary operation with the row one so we will convert row 2 by performing row 2 minus twice of row 1. So, this is the operation because this is 2. If we multiply 2 here and then subtract, this term will become 0. So, we will perform this operation. After performing this operation, the first row will remain same. In the second row, so this is 2. So, pe, let's say here we have 2 minus 2 into 1. So, this is the first element. So, this is 2 minus 2 into 1, 2 minus 2 into 1. So, this is 0. Okay. Then for the second element, let me rewrite. This is minus 1, minus 2 into and this is 1. So, we can see this is minus 1, minus 2, which will be minus of 3. Next element, this is 1. Let us write this element. So, here we have 1 minus 2 into 1. So, we have 1 minus 2 into 1 that is 1 minus 2. So, now we have minus of 1. For the last element in this, we have uh, again this is 3 minus 2 into 6. So, this is 3 and this is 6. So, 3 minus 2 into 6. 2 into 6 is 12. So, we have minus of 10, 12 and then we have plus of 3 which will uh, we'll get minus of 9. So, this is the first operation that we have done into this converting this element into 0. Now, we need to convert this element into 0. Again, we will operate this with the first row. So, let me write this matrix and then again I will write it as it is. And now, I will again perform operation on this matrix. So, now we will need to convert this into 0. So, the operation would be R3 and we will write R3 minus 3 times of R1. Right. So, we will perform with this. Now, let me write the resultant matrix. First row will remain same. There will be no change. Second row will remain same. There will be no change. And for the third row, we will have some changes. So, this is R3. 3 minus 3 times of R1. So, 3 minus this is 3 into 1 that is 3. 3 minus 3 that is 0. So, let me write it here. If you can say the operation is R3 by R3 minus 3 R1. So, in this case, we have 3 minus 3 times of R1. So, this is 3 minus 3, which is 0 for the first element. Now, for the second element, uh, this is R3 is 2. So, we will write 2. Then minus 3 times, this is 1. So, you can see 2 minus 3. So, we will have minus of 1. Now, next element. So, this is minus of 2. So, R3 is minus of 2 minus 3 times into this is 1. So, minus of 2 and 1 we have to operate. Uh, this is minus 2 minus of 3 will get minus of 5. For the last element, let us say this is 1. So, 1 minus and this is 6. So, we have 3 into 6. So, 3 6 are 18 and 1 minus 18. So, we will have minus of 17. Okay. So, you can see uh, this element is 0, this element is 0, 
now we need to convert this element into zero so for that uh, we first multiply the third equation by 3 so that these two elements are similar and then we can simply subtract so before i move on i will perform the operation that we will convert r3 by multiplying it with 3 so first row will remain same this is 1 1 1 and 6 second row will remain same 0 minus 3 minus of 1 and this is minus of 9 in the third row we have multiplied by 3 so this is 0 minus 1 into 3 is minus of 3 minus of 5 into 3 this is minus of 15 and minus 17 into 3 minus of 51 now we can see these two elements are same so we need to convert this element into 0 so I will perform the operation on R3 with respect to R2 so the next operation would be I will convert R3 by simply R3 minus R2 now what will be the next matrix first row will remain same second row will remain same and there will be changes into the third row 0 minus 0 is 0 minus 3 minus 3 will be a 0 then we have minus 15 here i can write minus 15 minus minus of 1 so this minus and minus plus plus 1 minus 15 will be a minus of 14 for the last element so this is minus of 51 minus minus of 9 minus minus will be a plus so we have a minus of 51 plus 9 that is minus of 42 so you can see by performing all these operations we have converted our matrix into upper triangular matrix as you can see this is the diagonal and below the diagonal all the elements are zero so now we have converted this into upper triangular matrix or our second step is completed now we'll do the third step that means we'll rewrite the equations using this upper triangular matrix so let us rewrite the equations from the first row we'll have x plus y plus z is equal to 6 from the second row we'll have minus of 3 by minus of z is equal to minus of 9 and from this third row we will have minus of 14z is equal to minus of 42 so we have rewritten the equations uh, using this upper triangular matrix now we need to perform backward substitution to solve these three questions so just to perform backward substitution we will start from the equation number three and we can see it is easy to solve variable z from the equation number three so if I take equation number 3, this is minus of 14z is equal to minus of 42. I can cancel out minus minus and then this is z is equal to 42 upon 40. So we can see z comes to be 3. So we have got value of z. Now we will substitute this using the backward substitution into equation number 2. So let me write equation number 2. This is minus of 3 by minus of z is equal to minus of 9 i'll replace 3 here so this is minus of 3 by minus of 3 is equal to minus of 9 uh, which is minus of 3 by is equal to minus 9 plus 3 minus 3 by is equal to minus of 6 we can cancel it out so y is equal to 6 by 3 which is 2 so you can see we have got uh, the second value second variable which is y is equal to 2 uh, first variable was uh, z is equal to 3 second we have got y is equal to 2 now again we need to substitute this backward into equation number 1 so now we'll use this z and uh, y and then we'll substitute this into equation number 1 to solve value of x so this is x plus y plus z is equal to 6 so where x plus value of y is 2 and value of z is 3 so we have got x plus 5 is equal to 6 from which x is equal to 6 minus 5 so we have got x is equal to 1 so we can see we have got three solutions we have got x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 so we can simply write that the values of x 
is 1, y is 2 and z is 3. So, we have got the solution of this given system of linear equations. So, we have solved this system of linear equations and uh, if you like the video then please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe and yes also provide your comments into the comment box so that I can know if you have any query I will be uh, very happy to help you out and please comment in the comment box what other topics you want me to cover here in the class. Till then goodbye have a nice day.